It's one thing for a teenager to bully another student, but tonight it's a parent who authorities say went after an 11 year old girl using social media. Yeah, a mom is now facing criminal charges after she was arrested for allegedly sending threatening messages to one of her daughter's rivals. The two girls are classmates at Okahili Community Middle School in Green Acres, and the mom, Paolo Zarate LaSalle, could be in hot water. CBS 12's Katie Benty is joining us tonight from the school district headquarters with some parents' reaction. Most parents would do just about anything to protect their kids. But how far is too far? At what point do you draw the line? We spoke with local parents earlier this evening, and many agree. Sending vulgar and profane threats to a sixth grader, that's definitely crossing the line. Reach out directly to the kid in that way seems certainly seems very aggressive and excessive instead of handling as adults should between adults. These are some of the dozens of messages deputies say 28-year-old Palm Beach County mom Paola Zarati LaSalle sent to her daughter's 11-year-old classmate on TikTok. Due to profane language, we had to censor most of the wording. Going online to do it is it really doesn't surprise me because it's just easier for people to be more ambitious online. According to the police report, the two Okahili community middle schoolers had not been getting along, but the school had recently resolved it. Then in late January, the victim started receiving online threats from Zarati and her husband, saying they were going to go to the girl's house and beat her up, at some points even teasing the child for being scared. Most parents we talked to had the same reaction. Even if she was any kind of underage, but 11 years old, instead of an adult coming in and helping the situation, she fires back with the same kind of bullying tactics that she's doesn't want her to do, which sounds crazy. I would address it with the adults in the situation, the other parent, the teachers, the community. I don't think appropriate to address it towards a child. Zarati is charged with one count of making a written threat. Now she is out on bail and was ordered to have no access to social media. It's unclear if her husband will also be facing charges. Reporting in Palm Beach County, I'm Katie Benty, CBS 12 News.